guys, I'm Laura Vitale and thanks to Target for sponsoring this video. Now today what I'm going to share with you is a delicious broccoli rice casserole that is going to be like the star of your holiday side dish section. You know what I mean? Um, it's very good. It's very easy. I'll be using some ingredients from Good and Gather, new and only at Target and you're going to love it. It's easy. It's super quick to put together and it just feeds a ton of people. So you're going to absolutely adore it. What I've got here are some broccoli florets and these are already washed and trimmed ready to go. You'll need some unsalted butter, some sharp cheddar, you'll need some milk. I've got some short grain rice here. Um, you can use long grain rice but I think short grain rice just makes the dish a lot creamier. Sour cream, flour in here, I've got some granulated garlic, onion, paprika, some dried parsley and I've got some seasoned salt and some celery salt. You're also going to need some onion and garlic and some chicken stock. I've got my oven preheated to 350. I have a casserole dish that I've buttered already, so that's good to go. So, greased. So we are gonna get right to it. I've got a large pot here with some salt and it's up to a boil. Now I'm gonna add my rice, but here's the thing. When you add your rice, you're gonna cook it for half the time the package calls for. So my package says about 20 minutes, so I'm gonna cook it for 10. But five, in, in five minutes, I'm gonna add my broccoli. So. Here's what I'm going to do to my broccoli. These florets are really already washed and like I said, trimmed and ready to eat, but I want them to be a little bit smaller. So I'm just going to go ahead and take a sharp knife, get rid of the bottom end and just cut the tops like that. Just, just cut them nice and small because you want your broccoli to run through your entire casserole, right? Now, Good & Gather is Target's new flagship grocery brand. They're launching this fall, but they're going to continue to launch throughout 2020 in all food and beverage categories. And how exciting is that? It's going to make Good & Gather their biggest grocery, their grocery brand. And that's really exciting because who doesn't love to shop and then find new, exciting items pop out throughout the year? It's fun. It's going to be good. All right, to my rice. It's been cooking for just about five minutes. I'm going to add the broccoli that I finally chopped, right? Because this is going to continue to cook for like five more minutes. And then I was just getting a head start on chopping up the onion and the garlic until it's nice and finely diced. So this is going to cook all together for five minutes. I'm going to drain it. I'm going to bring the, the pot back here to make our sauce. Drained my rice and broccoli. Now there's a little bit of rice left in the bottom of the pan, who cares. I'm adding some of the butter. I really want to sweat my onions and garlic in the butter. I mean it's just going to make it such rich and delicious and oh so good. I'm going to add the onions and the garlic right to it. I'm not looking for this to develop a lot of color. I'm looking for them to sweat and become translucent and soften. That way they'll really blend into the sauce nicely. Get that all in there, along with a pinch of salt, because salt is going to help draw out moisture from the onion. Mmm. Does look great. We're going to add some flour. Just stir that in until you no longer can see any raw bits of flour. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. All right, now we're going to add the milk and the stock at the same time. What about a couple of cups of each? Now the sauce will seem thin and you'll think, oh goodness, that does not look like a thick, creamy, delicious sauce. And the reason is because remember, we partially cooked our rice, so it's going to need quite a bit of liquid in the oven to continue cooking and it will absorb all of this liquid, trust me. All right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to keep an eye on this, give it a stir, let it cook and thicken and in the meantime, I want to share with you a few of our latest family snacks. And I just want to say once again, thanks to Target for sponsoring this video. Now I wanted to share a few snacks with you that we've gotten from the Good & Gather uh, brand that we just absolutely love. Now you know, I've mentioned this before, we're not a big snacking family during the day, but now that the weather is cool outside, we have been binge watching movies every night and you need a snack to do that with. And I wanted to share some of the things that we have tried that we really, really have been enjoying. These are taste first products made with quality ingredients, which is really important to me if I'm going to be feeding them to Mia. These little pouches, if you have little ones, are fantastic. Both Mia and my nephews love them and she really loves these fruit and green bars as well. I feel good about giving her these. They don't have any artificial sweeteners, no synthetic colors, no um, 
like there's no high fructose corn syrup in there. There's no artificial flavors. It's things that I feel good about giving her. Um, they're good quality ingredients and they taste delicious. I would show you how many chips are left in here, but it would be embarrassing because this, I have something popping this up, but it would be embarrassing because the bag is just about gone. And their hummus is also fantastic. Um, and Mia loves hummus too. If, if you watch me for a while, you know that. But really good ingredients. You feel good about them. Um, they're easy to shop. And I just encourage you, if you're in your local Target or if you're an online shopper, to check out their Good & Gather line. I will put a link in the description box below. And they're gonna be coming out with more stuff throughout 2020. More stuff, more deliciousness. You're gonna love it. This has thickened a bit. Now remember, it's not gonna be super duper thick, so do not panic. And no, you don't want this to come to a rolling boil either. I'm gonna add the spices. I want lots and lots of black pepper. Now we already have salt in there from the seasoned salt and the celery salt. And plus we did already season the rice and the broccoli. This is looking good. Lower the heat a little bit. I'm just gonna add about two thirds of my cheese. Mmm, this is gonna be so good. Add that right in. I'm actually gonna just turn off the heat because I don't need it to be any hotter right now. This is good. And I'm gonna go grab the rice and the broccoli to add in with my casserole dish. Add in your drained rice, whoa, and broccoli. And like I said, it's gonna look like it's thin, but you, that's what you want because it's going to continue to bake and just bubble away in the oven and it's truly perfection. I made this for a party not too long ago and um, it ended up being the star of the show. <laughs> so that looks good. I've got my casserole here buttered and ready. Oh, almost forgot to stir it in my sour cream. You wanna stir it in your sour cream at the last minute. Nice creaminess as well. Listen. I'm hungry. My brain can't think straight when I'm hungry, you know? This, I have to say, if your rice was cooked all the way, I could probably just eat it just like this because that's how delicious it is. But to make it even better, I'm gonna pour this baby into the buttered casserole dish. I'm going to cover this with some aluminum foil and pop it in the oven for half an hour. After the half hour is up, you're gonna take the foil off and you're gonna sprinkle the rest of the cheese on and you're gonna pop it back into the oven without the foil for another 15, 20 minutes or until the top is bubbly. I show you what the finished product looks like and then we can finally dig in. All right, so remember this was in the oven covered for half an hour, then I took off the foil, put on the rest of the cheese and popped it back in without the foil for 20 minutes. And then it's important that you let it sit for a good 20 minutes before you serve it. It's still very warm, very hot, uh, but it just kind of, it helps everything sort of settle. And it is so, oh, you just, you just wait for this, okay? You just wait for this. And then this is not gonna look gorgeous, but just watch, okay? It is like cheesy and it is creamy. And look in here. You see how all the rice has absorbed that sauce? Yeah. I don't know why I went in that corner. You know I have a thing for like middles and edges, you know? It's gotta be all just right. Yeah. It's like, it goes down so well. It's creamy. It's hot. Mmm. It's creamy and delicious. Delicious, delicious, deliciously creamy. I'm gonna say it again because there's no other way for me to really describe it. Perfect alongside your holiday table. I'm telling you, if you just wanna get rid of stuffing and replace it with this, which would be fine with me, um, you can, or this would be a lovely addition to the side dishes. LauraInTheKitchen.com will have the written recipe. I hope that you enjoy spending time with me, and I will see you real soon. Bye-bye.